Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel for the daily inspirational oracle reading provided to you by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. In this reading, I'd like for you to take a moment to think about anything that is troubling you, any issues or concerns that you may have, and maybe you're looking for a different perspective or insight or maybe just a sign from the universe, and to think about that as you are watching this daily inspirational energy check-in. You may also allow your mind to settle into your heart and let whatever issues or concerns surface from your subconscious and let it resonate with this reading. After the reading, I am you will have an opportunity to ask the mystic beings any type of yes or no question of your choice and they will answer your questions. Now I do I do want to warn you that the mystic beings will give you answers that are pretty shocking. Things that will, you know, they think, oh my God. They may say something like this is not your business at this time or you need to raise your vibration but you know but if you'd like to participate that would be at the end of the energy check-in the first card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is you can you can't help who you love but you can help how you allow yourself to be treated the next card I have for you is from Demata, who is the father of the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. He represents divine, he's uh, the creative force, dark energy and dark matter. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. And the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is, use your imagination. So this hand, just made me laugh really hard this this hand is about learning how to trust your intuition darling you have you can't overlook the lessons of a broken heart of a bad investment of a bad friendship you can't overlook the spiritual lessons of betrayal you know what I'm saying so what is so what the universe is saying today is that you're gonna have to learn how to trust yourself trust your intuition and trust that you are able to not repeat the same mistakes over and over again so basically you have the card from the matter that says don't be afraid to make mistakes right well a lot of times when we have made um you know like i said got our heart beat up a little bit y'all we've made some bad investments and we've and we think to ourselves i cannot i cannot believe i did that i can't believe i trusted that person i can't believe i allow myself to you know ex to let this person treat me like this right but the truth is that person was a teacher to you they came into your life to teach you a lesson that no no one else could have taught you about listening to your intuition um i was just you know reading the bible the other night with and it was interesting how there was a prophet who he was told by god not to i think it was something like don't drink water don't eat bread and don't go back the same way you came to this person's house and the person told him that god told him that he could do those things well anyway he listened to this other person and he didn't listen to himself and of course he you know he was killed now the the point of the story for me in general is listen guys listening to your intuition is mm -mm, oh god it's a lesson that we all have to learn so it doesn't mean that you're not going to make any more mistakes because if you stop making mistakes it means that you're going to stop growing as a human being right so we're always going to make mistakes but to learn how to trust our instincts so our intuition you know that is something that when we wait when we learn how to trust our instincts we also learn how to trust ourselves and we learn how to trust others but without first learning how to trust our intuition it really puts us at a disadvantage from being able to grow evolve and progress You're, so some what you can do 
to your intuition is your you know, this resides in your third eye this is your wisdom so you can use gemstones such as azurite lapidolite um, lapis lazuli just think um, I'm trying to think of some other ones fluorite amethyst clear quartz these are all gemstones that you can that can actually help you open your third eye you just want to place it on your third eye during meditation or after you know you meditate just when you lie there before you lay down or lie down um, you just want to place it here in your third eye to help you open up your third eye and the best thing to do is to try to do little things like you know don't go and use if your third eye has been closed or you haven't trusted your intuition I wouldn't use a gemstone to help me decide if I was about to marry somebody that's a big decision or you know, test that puppy out first so you might just want to say oh let me see if you know like if you're buying something if it's going to go on sale just start with small things but opening your third eye and learning how to trust yourself is really the gateway to your to your growth until you making really good decisions and not repeating the lessons you know from the last betrayal or from the last broken heart um so the card um you know using your imagination uh, is really she represents the third eye using your imagination gives you an opportunity to think about the scenario to think it through like so you say okay all right, last time some you know someone said that to me, there was a red flag. Okay, and last time somebody did that, or you know, look for you know red flags. Now, what I would like for you to do is take a moment and think of three things that you've done that really hurt you, like you know that really broke your heart, whether it was with money or with a, a relationship. But I want you to think about those things, and I want you to um, do. Uh, to dissect it you know apart what you know what were the signs like what could I have done differently what mistake did I make you know my brother has a saying that people usually show you the knife before they put stab you in the back with it you know like before they betray you they you know like there's always something that you thought to yourself that sounds weird why would you say that so I want you to think of three things in your life three times in your life where you actually um, made a bad mistake, a bad investment, you know, and I want you to look at those lessons deeply. What did I learn from this? What were the signs? And then I like for you to look, think of three times in your life where you actually listened to your intuition. And I want you to say, okay, I listened to my intuition and this saved me, blah, blah, blah. What was different about the two? So the point of this is that you are going to always make mistakes but you just don't want to keep making the same mistakes because every time you learn you know you you move up and you develop new obstacles new um, you know new things happen that you think oh gee why not think of this well because you just you weren't ready yet but anyway that's what I like for you to do the reading the, the purpose of today's check-in is you need to learn how to trust yourself again and trust others but the way you do that is by learning how to tap into your intuition and trusting your intuition now I like for you to think of a question that you have for the mystic beings a yes or no question I am going to you can pick uh, card one card two or card three to answer your question and I'm just going to randomly pick a card here and we're going to find out together. So do you have your question in mind? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And let's see where what number one. We're looking for the answer for the person who selected number one. And what is your answer for this person, darling? No. So the question, whatever your question is. Their answer to you today is no, I'm not, you know, just make sure you think it through now. Don't let anybody or anything change you from being who you want to be. Now, this is for people who select number two. I'd like for you to formulate your question in your mind. 
And we're going to, oops, to pick a card. I'm sorry. I'm going to pick a card. A mystic being to give you the answer to your question. I want to close my eyes. I feel like it's just more magical that way, right? So, what is the answer to the person who selected number two? What is the answer to the person who selected number two? Okay, let me just hold it here for a second and I'll read it. It is, you, you already know what to do, stop pretending. The card is saying you already know what to do, stop pretending. So listen, this person is already asking you to, to the universe is already asking you to, to tap into your intuition and to trust your intuition. Now, if you select card number three, Mystic Being, the Mystic Being is going to answer your question, and we're going to see what the answer is. So, for the people who selected number three, what is the answer that you have for them? No. I don't know what to say. Those are the answers for um, the yes or no pick a card from the Mystic Beings. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.